Why can't we get in our public building to have meetings? Why are meetings being canceled? Uh, why can't we have transparency what's going on with our tax dollars? Residents of a Chicago suburb are revolting against their mayor. Tiffany Henyard is the woman in charge of Dalton, Illinois. But allegations of corruption, assault, and even embezzlement are igniting calls for her resignation. A former employee suing Henyard for wrongful termination spoke to us about her ordeal last hour. I was trying very hard to get paid, and I couldn't get anybody to respond to me, not to call, text, or email. And the pressure of not getting paid for so long actually had a very bad effect on me. Co-anchor of Fox & Friends First, Carly Shimkus, and Fox News contributor Tyrus are here. Here's some headlines oh, yes. about Hi, the Adam. mayor, Carly. ABC saying Tiffany Henyard vetoes legis investigation of herself oh. amid corruption accusations. Dalton Barsu saying license not renewed because it didn't donate to the mayor. And narcissistic Democratic mayor accused by former assistant of putting makeup artists on town's payroll. So yeah. not happy there in Illinois. Uh, if I were Mayor uh, Henyard's friend, I would say don't veto the resolution uh, looking into the investigation into your spending because that makes you look guilty. Just a little friendly advice, take it or leave it. Um, but uh, looking into her finances a little bit, uh, she is not only the mayor of Dalton, she is also the county supervisor of Thornton Township. Two jobs. She makes nearly $300,000. She makes more money than the governor of Illinois. Wow. Governor Pritzker. Yeah. <laughs> the average income in Dalton is $24,000 a year. Mm. So you read one of those headlines there. One of the things she's accused of is using taxpayer money to pay for hair and makeup services for public appearances li like this one. I mean, if that's true, and she has a lot of money and a lot of her constituents, the residents in the town that she serves does not, that is a terrible thing. She seems like she likes a lot of attention. She's getting it now. She also also is, has apparently gotten the attention of the FBI, and that may be some unwanted so attention. So she's thinking. saying the facts are on her side. She is saying she's got receipts to prove it. And Show them. Get sure. The I, yeah, that's Show why you the vetoed the investigation. That's what I always do. Yeah. <laughs> when I have everything to clear my name, yeah. I don't have to explain myself to you, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this is this is what bothers me. Since she likes to group and the, the squad, they like to group, and they say black people this and black. This is what bothers me as a black man, because this is our representation. Yeah. I'm the first this, I'm the equity. This is another situation where a person of color gets in there and is supposed to do all this great and they end up being super corrupt. We saw it in Chicago, we see it in New Orleans, we're just seeing it over and over again. And if you question them and you call them out, the first card they play is the, you're racist, you're coming after me. No, you're corrupt. The color of your skin is irrelevant. But they hide behind these walls. And it, it's starting to go back to the thing where every time I hear about a corrupt political or, or government official, I'm like, oh, please don't let it be. Because <laughs> we all get judged for that. Yeah. And you look who the representation right now, it's it's sad. And the fact that she vetoes her investigation should tell you all you need to well, know. We'll see how it turns out. Take us to California. Well, I see, yeah. Yeah, so there's a, there's a, I want to know what you think about this. So there's a restaurant called Perch. It's in L.A. I've never been, but apparently it's very famous and it's a good place to go. They are adding a 4.5% security service charge to all guest checks for the cost of security personnel. And it says, as Perch is located on several levels on top of a building, it requires more security personnel than a restaurant on a ground floor. So c some customers are saying, wait, why should we have to pay for this? But maybe there have been enough problems oh. that the restaurant is like, I we can't raise the prices of the food. Yeah. We well, have to tell people why. So initially I was like, oh, this is a crime story. And I, it, it, maybe they do need security because of the crime crisis in California. And, and then I thought about it and I was like, why 4.5%? Why are you charging people security based on how much they spend? You, you, could it be a flat fee, maybe? But right. like, if you buy a huge dinner and a lot of wine, then you end up spending more for the security than the person that's just buying one glass of wine. So that doesn't seem to make sense to me. I will you, make it. I don't even need a question. I will make this make sense for you. As a former bodyguard, <laughs> executive protection is expensive. You're on a friggin' rooftop in California right now where criminals have no fear to do whatever they want. You want a couple dudes like me on there, maybe even just to catch you before they throw you off or rob you. Crime has gotten to the point so bad where you can't, the police have been defunded. You call, it's what, two hours before they can even get there, if they can get there, or you get a couple monsters like me and we're very good, but we're expensive. Yeah. And well, you will so happily flat, pay that 4%. Make it no, a flat but you need for security. Everybody. But you need, no, they want real security, not $8 security, uh -huh. executive protections around I charge like 400 bucks an hour. So it's expensive, but to have someone carrying a concealed weapon, 
to protect the, this is what you have to Everyone do now. Is and if you want to go out, you do and it. Passing it off to the customers. Yeah. In every single case. You have to because of this Post administration. Wants to charge, right? The runners for that. the New York Marathon. Seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars because they run across the. Can Arizona I do that with bridge. you? Look, I got to do oh, This is ridiculous. Have you been in a New York taxi cab lately? No, I'm too have tall. You nor have I been in a marathon. From I'm a, a short York distance taxi lately. <laughs> Look at all the damn charges that are on the. I list would love to be in like a taxi, Biden. but there's sizes. They're sizes. Taxis are end. sizes. Yeah. They don't make them for me. It's sizes, and I'm upset. Next topic. I do feel safer with you at the table. Anybody else want to throw an envelope? First names only. Tyrus, Carly, thank, thank you. you.